Welcome to State Television Company, Western Armenia, broadcast for today. We have ratified the treaty and confirmed that we follow the entire legal procedure till the liberation of the territories of Armenia, Armenia Abrahamian. The regular session of the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia was held. The 44 issue of the Western Armenian magazine has been published. Baku continues the policy of assimilation. The red carpet of Golden Apricot will be replaced by the carpet made by local carpet masters. The storm and the explosion on the mount are at very recorded by a camera. Wrestling Greco Roman style wrestling U17 team won one gold, three silver, and one bronze medals. We ratified the treaty and confirmed that we followed the entire legal procedure till the liberation of the territories of Armenia. The Treaty of Severus was applied to many nations, first Syrians, Iraqis, Palestinian Jews, and to some extent to Turks and Kurds. However, it was not applied to Armenia, said this during the meeting discussion of the 8th anniversary of the ratification of the Treaty of Severus, Mr. Armenak Abrahamian, the President of the National Council of the Republic of Western Armenia. However, according to the President, the deliberation of Shushi in 1992 made it possible to regain the Republic of Armenia of 1920. The President of the National Council states that Turkey had time to respond to the Supreme Council till May 11, 1920. Turkey submits their answer on June 23, 1920, and recognized Armenia according to the Treaty of Batumi, but did not recognize Western Armenia as the territory of the Republic. The Supreme Council gives Turkey time to sign the Treaty of Severus. In July 1920, the Ottoman Sultan convened the Council of His Sovereignty, which was attended by 50 people. Based on the Ottoman National Constitution, the Sultan decided to send his ambassadors to sign the Treaty of Severus, mentioned President Armenak Abrahamian. He also emphasized it is important to realize that according to the Ottoman constitution, the Sultan is inviolable. He issues order but does not sign document. The Sultan's order is equal to ratification. Thus, Turkey ratified the Treaty of Severus. After the liberation of Shushi in 2016, we ratified it in the liberated territory, showing that we followed the entire legal procedure before the liberation of the territories of Armenia. This emphasized the importance of liberated territory and the fact that Armenian people liberated a part of the Republic of 1920 for the first time in decades. Concluding his speech, said Mr. Armenak Abrahamian, the President of the National Council of the Republic of Western Armenia. On June 26, the regular session of the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia was held. The agenda was presented by the Chairwoman of the National Assembly of Western Armenia, Ms. Nelly Harutunyan. In the first part of the agenda was the discussions held in UN on the contract of the intellectual property, genetic resources, and traditional knowledge. A number of questions were suggested by the deputies, which were responded properly. And in the second part of the agenda, the topics of relevance and validity were discussed of the programs connected with West Western Armenia. At the end of the session, a number of current issues were also discussed. The 44 issue of the Western Armenian Weekly Newspaper has been published. On the cover of the new issue is a photo of the General Office of WIPO entitled Crucial Discussions, or can we say Hot Discussions at WIPO. The President of the National Council of Western Armenia, Mr. Armenia Gabrahamian, was present at the meeting and gave a speech there which caused discussions. He raised the issue on the indigenous people who were subjected to genocide. The weekly newspaper features the full speeches of delegates from Western Armenia, Baku, Turkey, and Eastern Armenia at WIPO in English, French, Russian, Arabic, Chinese, and Spanish languages. In the 34 issue of the Western Armenia Weekly newspaper, you can learn about the regular sessions of the National Assembly of Western Armenia and the government, the speech of the Speaker of the Government, the stories of Tigran Agert Archaeological Museum, the Talish Memorial Complex, as well as culture and other public issues. Armenian English, French, and Turkish versions of the weekly newspaper can be downloaded below in PDF format. Baku continues the policy of appropriation. Baku has no mind that the history of the territory and the history of the state are not identical, and the history of the millennium cannot be patched on the state created only 106 years ago, appropriating the values previously created by other people in the given area. The government Shirman Nakhijevan Pan-Armenian Union has rapidly referred to the habit of historical and cultural pickpocketing in Baku, but this policy is not limited to the process of rooting nationalism inside the country, but 
goes beyond the border of the country, forming a collective behavior to mislead the outside world and the international community. A vivid example is the Azerbaijanization of medieval Persian poets. Even now, Baku owns in the 11th, 12th centuries poems by the Persian poet Masati Ganjaevi. Meanwhile, the whole world accepts her as a Persian poet who wrote in Persian language. There are also diverse opinions about the birthplace of Masati. Therefore, even the fact that she was born in Ganzak does not give any reason to attribute Azerbaijan origin to a writer who has no other relation with modern Baku. It should be noted that a number of alternative encyclopedias and researchers don't share Baku's approach at all. This is another fact that proves how far Baku appropriates policies can go and how political priorities are also reflected in other spheres of culture and public life. The Pan-Armenian Union, Karman Shirvan Nahijevan, condemns such behavior of Baku and calls on those responsible for culture policy in Italy and the public to take a serious interest in Baku's multi-year experience of stealing regional history and culture. The Golden Apricot International Film Festival, which will be held in Yerevan on July 7 up to 14, will not have the traditional red carpet of the opening ceremony in this year. It will be replaced by carpets made by a local carpet master based on the design of artist David Kochunz, which make up the collection of location. There are several reasons for this cancellation. According to Karin Avetisian, the director and artistic director of the festival, one of them is to talk about the traditions of Armenian handwork, one of the oldest edges of craftsmanship carpet waving it will be much more meaningful and charming if like a festival poster every year there is a special carpet created with modern visual solutions by traditional homemaker women noted the highest peak of Western Armenia, Mount Ararat, is under the influence of a strong storm and tornado. Snow falls on the glaciers of on the top of the mountain and attracts attention with its snow-covered appearance. News agency Anadolu took photos of the storm and the storm that happened on the mountains. They left a severe impact to 4,000 meters high on the section from the top of Mount Ararat, which is 5,147 meters high. The accident is temporarily in danger. Eastern Armenia Greco-Roman Wrestling U-17 team won one gold, three silver and one bronze medals at the European Championship held in Novi Sad, Serbia. Our team took the second place in the team calculation. The only gold medal in the team won 45 kg Marat Ajemian, who won over Russian Aslanbek Kostoev in the final. Thus, in the semi-final, Ajemian won ahead of time with a score of 8 over Baku player. The U-17 European Championship will last until June 30. This was all for today. Goodbye.